What's up guys? Thought I'd do a little video here to talk about why. Why why do music? Why get into music? And uh, you know, it's uh, it's work, right? There's a lot of work involved. But here's why. Cuz it's it's a lot of fun. It's not a lot of money and you never know where it'll take you, right? Plus, yeah, you know, cognition, man. They say uh, as you get older, if you want to keep your brain working right, you know, uh, unlike mine, it helps to do like puzzles and, and learn new things and that kind of stuff. And music really is a big puzzle. It's something that you can continue to learn as you get older. You can learn it forever. You know, I mean, there isn't really a time in your life where you're going to you're going to know everything about music. You can keep learning it like it's a puzzle. And it, it keeps your brain working good. Plus, in the meantime, it is a fun hobby. And it can become more than a hobby, right? Even if you're older, you, you, can, you can get into playing professionally. You can play live. You can get up in front of people, maybe make a couple bucks. I mean, I haven't made a ton of money at it, but I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, but learning music, it's good for you. And it's an inexpensive hobby. I mean, you consider you can get a good acoustic guitar for under 200 bucks. You can buy a ukulele if you want to play that. They're small, you know, if uh, you're pressed for space. Ukulele is small, and you can get a good one for under under $80, like a really, really good one. And if you want to learn piano, people are always giving pianos away, and there are electric keyboards that are fairly cheap. You know, it's not expensive to learn, to get into. And you never know where it can take you. For instance, like I said, if, if you do get to the point where you want to get up in front of people and play and sing, and you don't have to be really good. People think you have to, you have to get good at it. You don't. You learn some chords, learn some songs, learn to sing a little bit, and you can get up in front of people. Or just learn to play. If, if you have somebody else that sings good, you can uh, play with other people. You can get with a band. It, even if it's just you and a guitar, though, and you don't have to do big stuff, right? Uh, my wife and I, we got to play, and we started playing in church, and then we started playing together, uh, playing at uh, nursing homes and senior centers and, you know, schools. We played folk music, so, you know, uh, preschools and, and kindergartens, they always love it. You love to have folk musicians show up and play the banjo and the fiddle and the mandolin and, and introduce the kids to different types of stuff. So, you know... We played for the old people, a lot of gospel and folk music, and they loved it. And it led us to eventually recording and releasing music. We did like, we recorded five albums and officially released three of them. Uh, and it, it was fun. And we didn't make a ton of money, but it was a lot of fun. And we met a lot of people and got to do a lot of things. And music can lead to that. Or it can lead to just you hanging around at home playing guitar and singing songs to yourself. And I did that for years and years, and, and that's always fun, right? And it isn't expensive as far as hobbies go. I know guys that are into auto racing, like amateur auto racing, that's an expensive hobby. Guys into building cars, that's an expensive hobby. Hunting, it can be an expensive hobby. Fishing, camping, all kinds of hobbies can get really expensive. Golf, golf is way pricier than music. Even if you buy good guitars and equipment, golf gets expensive. I don't play golf, but I know people who do, and I know how expensive it can be. And, you know, I mean, where's the downside to learning music, too? That's the thing. It takes up, what, a little bit of your TV watching time? We all got a little bit of spare time we, you can do something with. And you're not spending a lot of money, and you're doing something that's at least semi-productive, you know? Uh... It's good for you. It's good for the brain. It's good for, it's just, it's good. And it's fun. And it, like I said, it's not expensive and it's not intrusive. And your family might not appreciate uh, you practicing early on when you suck at it. Or maybe they won't care. Maybe, maybe they're, maybe they'd be like, hey, uh, we like that, man. You know, maybe they like you singing songs. And you can learn, learn your, uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, your significant other, you can learn their, their favorite songs. Maybe they might like that. You can learn your kids' favorite songs. They might like that. So, I mean, you know, m music's a good thing. It's good for the soul. If you get into songwriting, you can express yourself. If you got stuff, we all got stuff inside that we can't quite 
find the words to say. And a lot of times when you uh, write songs, you know, you find those chords that just express how you're feeling. And you find words that say it without saying it, you know? And that can be a lot of fun. Or you can write stories. I've written songs about other people, right? Because, you know, my wife ain't done me wrong and done me wrong songs are always, you know, fun to write. But I know a lot of people whose spouses, significant others, whatever, have done them very wrong. So I write songs about them. They don't, they don't know. They don't know I based it on them. But, you know, uh, yeah, don't tell them. I'm not going to say who it is. Anyway, so why do music? And it's because it's, it's fun. It's rewarding. There's a lot of reward in it. When you learn new songs, you learn new chords, it's very worthwhile. You know, you feel a sense of accomplishment. And I mean, if you eventually want to get into uh, recording, that's not terribly expensive. And you don't have to record stuff with the idea of releasing it or making money on it. You can just record the stuff just to do it. You know, a couple hundred bucks is enough to buy one of those packages that comes with a microphone and interface and headphones. And then you can just record yourself and then go back and play along with your previous recording. You can learn how to do that kind of stuff. It's not expensive. And it's something that could be a lot of fun and could lead to something. Here I am on YouTube talking to you guys. You know, I'm trying to do something with YouTube here. And I got here by uh, playing music and getting into recording. You know, I produced a radio, uh, several radio shows that my wife hosted because, uh, you know, we got into recording and we had the equipment, we could record radio programs and we got on the air and it was a lot of fun. You never know where it'll take you and it's worth doing. And keep in mind, man, you wanna be one of those impressive people that can play like a dozen instruments. You don't have to be Here's the thing, even if you're not that great at any of them, you're just passable. When you can play like 10 instruments, people are always impressed. And I'll tell you what, man, you learn one, you learn one instrument pretty good, and the others aren't that hard, right? You learn guitar, banjo is pretty similar to guitar. It's even tuned similar. There are different tunings for banjo, but you can tune it. Mine's tuned to an open G, which is very similar to just a, a standard guitar tuning. And the banjo is easy to learn once you learn the guitar. The ukulele is just a little guitar. Mandolin isn't a big jump from there. And then the violin is tuned like a mandolin. So you get used to the mandolin and you can play the violin. And next thing you know, you play a bunch of instruments and people are impressed. You can impress your friends. It, it's not hard. And you can find inexpensive versions of all those instruments. Whatever instrument you want to start out on, you can find a cheap version of it that's good to get started on. And I do reviews on this channel. If you check out my, uh, I got a playlist of reviews. If you check that out, you can find uh, reviews on fiddles and banjos and mandolins and stuff that you might find interesting and where you can get decent ones cheap, you know? So, hey, start learning some music, man. Pick up an instrument, check out on YouTube. I have lessons on my channel. Other people have lessons on their channel. Find some lessons you like. Doesn't have to be mine. Find some lessons you like and learn to play some music because it's good for you and it'll keep you young. That's the truth, man. It's like they say do Sudoku and crossword puzzles as you get older. It keeps your brain working young. Well, music's a puzzle. It, it, that's the truth. And you can, it's a puzzle you never entirely solve, man. You can learn more the rest of your life. So, hey, guys, just wanted to talk about that. Go out there and rock, man. Or, or, Play some country or some folk. Get into hip hop. Whatever it is you want to do, man. Learn to play some music. Have some fun with it. The world needs no more music. And uh, the world needs your music. Right there, you. The world needs your music. I'm not just saying that. If you do record something, you do get into it, man, send, send it to me. I'd love to hear you guys. Love to hear what you do. And... Uh, Hey, man, I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe. And, you know, for more cool stuff, I'm going to be doing more videos. Check out my playlists. I got reviews. I got lessons. If, if you do want some tutorials on how to play, I got some I did, like, you know, a little while ago. So, peace out. Love you guys. Bye-bye.